hi and welcome back to T's Life. What's up you guys? I missed you so much. Your girl had a sinus infection for like a week and a half and I literally sounded insane. But I'm back to make another video. So this video is actually going to be a two part video. Um, I'm going to make, as you see from my little b-roll, I'm going to make some fried seafood. So I have this nice hunk of lobster, okay. Also I'm looking at my rear view, or my rear view, my viewfinder. And I have some of this amazing big ol' king crab. I also got my egg mixture, which is literally some eggs, whip it up. So that'll be like my liquid, you know, my wet ingredient. And I have some Louisiana fish fry stuff uh, right here. I'm going the quick and easy way, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deshell the king crab. First of all, I'm going to Then I'm going to deshell the king crab. What I'm going to do is cut them in more smaller pieces. That way I could dip and fry in some good old grease. Now, I need to get me an air fryer. I see everybody using them things. I need to get one. But if well, somebody wants to send me one, I'm more than welcome. I do have a P.O. box. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to fry those up and I'm going to taste it. Now, I've heard fried seafood is banging. So I really, really, really am really, 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 try that again. Really, 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 really excited to try it. So, I am going to take you on this journey to show you how I fry my seafood. And it's going to start right now. Alright guys, I'm back. So as you can see, I have my king crab legs right here and I have my lobster tail. I have my egg, well my wet here, my dry here, and I got a bowl to put all this stuff in. I'm trying to get it to where, let me zoom out. Oh, wrong way. There we go. So what I'm going to do first, as always, you start with your wet ingredient. So you take your nice, look at that, look at that color. Oh my goodness. So you just dip it in the egg. Then you dip it like this, ew, in your dry ingredients. See what I'm saying? Get it nice and coated. I like to do mine twice. And we're back. So I didn't realize my camera turned off, but there's the one coated and it's put in there. So basically, you're just gonna repeat those same steps, and yeah. So I'll fast forward right here. the rubbery part off which makes me happy I got all the seafood coated in the yumminess so now and it's first of all it's really messy really really messy now I'm gonna let the oil heat up on the stove and get it to cooking catch me back in like five minutes <laughs> all right guys so I'm now I'm back at the stove so here's it just looks like a big mess but here's what I got also got me a plate and some so I'm gonna test out a little piece here. Mm -hmm. 
almost there. But I like it when it's kind of like this and not scalding hot because I can kind of control the brown, you know. If that makes sense. You just add your pieces. Now the lobster tail, I'm going to do that one by itself. Just because it's so big. Uh, yes. All right, it's about time to get it flipping. These little pieces are already kind of submerged, so they both cook. But these bigger pieces, yeah, let's just flip it like that. Oh, it's nice and brown on this side, yeah. Or like Cardi B was saying, ow. Just kidding. I love her. See, yes, look at that. Nice and golden. Let that cook, and then I'll be back. Okay, so this smells so good, but it's nice and brown. See, look at that nice and brown and they're done they don't take long at all to boil i mean to boil to fry the hell so paper towel here just because like any other thing that you fry it gets the juice now this big boy right here is about to go in Just like that. Now these probably cooked or deep fried for about a total of like five or six minutes. You want to make sure it's cooked all the way through. You want to make sure you get that nice golden brown color. Look at this. Look at that. That nice golden brown color there. So yeah. Looks yummy, smells yummy, it's all hell. And we're gonna let this bad boy cook. Now this one is a little bit, it's thicker, it's meatier, it's grainier, it's more muscly. So this one's gonna take a little time to cook. So, like I did with these, I cooked this on one side. I'll bring you guys back for when I flip it. Hopefully it gets done pretty soon because it smells amazing and I'm starving. Put it over here. Also, I'm gonna show you guys how to make my freaking tartar sauce I make my own tartar sauce it's really easy it's really simple I know this is a weird angle but it's really easy really simple it's a really good tartar sauce and it's got a little twist to it so I'll bring you guys in to show you how I make that and yeah I'll catch you guys in a few minutes alright it's time to flip let's see oh 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 hold on Oh, look at that color. Yes. You see that color on my boy? Yes. Now I'm going to let that side cook. And I'll catch you when it's all done. Alright guys, so the lobster tail is done. I'm going to take it off. Ooh, I'm going to drop it. And put it right here with its lovely partners look at that oh yes 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 turn this hot ass grill or grill turn this off set this back in so while i sit in there i'm going to show you guys how i make my lovely tartar sauce i love me some tartar sauce here and these are the ingredients that I use. You need a bowl. You need you some mayonnaise, your choice. Some sweet relish. Now you normally use a regular mustard. I love honey mustard. And yes, this is the dressing. I didn't have any. Anyways, and you need, just need you some lemon juice. Also, 
get you some Tony's Creole <laughs> just because I love me a little spice, a little seasoning, you know what I'm saying? So you want to take you some mayonnaise. Just like that. Just like that. Take your relish. Squeeze that boy boy in there. About that much. Now you take some of this lovely honey mustard and my husband just walked in the door. Hello. Just squeeze a little bit of that on top, just like that. And mix this in. I know it, I know. I already know. I already know what you're gonna say. It looks disgusting. I, I, I know. Just mix that on in there. Take you some lemon juice. Squeeze that on in there. And take you some Cajun seasoning, Creole. Ke wow. Take you some Cajun seasoning and some Creole seasoning. Just do a little. Just like that. And mix that on in there. Like so. Give it a little taste. Yes, yes, yes. And that's how I make my tartar sauce. So yummy. Voila. All right. That's it. That's all. So I hope you enjoyed part one of this video. Part two will be followed up this one is posted this is how I make my fried seafood that was cream crab legs and also my lobster tail also I showed you guys how I make my homemade tartar sauce which is so yummy let me know if you tried that as well I love you guys and I'll catch you in the next video but before you leave don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit that bell to be notified on every time that I post a video guys because you want to be notified you want to be noted comment down below if you try my tartar sauce and also if you try my recipe as to how to wow uh, fry some seafood also I love you guys so much. just kidding um, so anyways yeah let me know what you think also follow me on my social media accounts that is what is my social media accounts oh I don't remember that is Instagram which is tease life Follow me, I'll follow you back. Also, I have Twitter if you want to follow me. It's Teriana Shramick. Also, I have Snapchat as well if you want to follow me. And that is Miss Teriana. So, do me a favor and follow me on those things and I'll follow you back. I have a really bad burst of energy right now if you can't tell. But I'm super excited to try this seafood in front of you guys. So, like I said, this is a two-part video. This was part one. Part two will be posted sometime after this video. I love you guys and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.